Okay, so now that we've covered in all previous videos how to do all the factoring, let's see how it would be like if we don't know which case it is. So we know that first we check for common factor always, then we check for difference of squares. The three questions for difference of squares are, are there two terms? Are they both perfect squares? And is there a minus sign? Then we check for perfect squares. Are there three terms? Are there first and last perfect squares? And is the middle term 2ab or twice the first times the second? And it takes longer to say these questions than to actually do it. Then we check for simple trinomial. So if it starts with x squared, we know that we need um, two numbers that multiply to the last number and add up to the middle number. And that's not the case. If it doesn't start with x squared, then we have a complex trinomial, which would be the box method, which uh, the organized trial and error. Okay. And if none of them work, again, maybe it just doesn't factor. So let's look at three examples. If I've got 2x squared minus 2x minus 40, what's the first thing that we do? Check for a common factor, and there is a common factor, and that's going to be, I can take out a 2. So now we're left with x squared minus x minus 20. Uh, let's check, could it be a difference of squares? No, that's, that's not two terms. Could it be a perfect square? Well, that's a perfect square. That's not a perfect square, so move on. So is it a simple trinomial? Yes, it starts with x squared. I know that I need two numbers that multiply to 20, in this case negative 20, and add up to negative 1. Because that last one's negative, and that one's negative. Actually, because that one's negative, I know there's going to be a plus and a minus. Um, so that's going to be, and they're very close together, so it'll be 4 and 5. I want the middle one to be negative, so that's going to be minus 5 and 4. So x minus 5 and x plus 4. By the way, you may want to just stop the video right now and give that a try and then see the answer. So let's look at this, 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. Okay, could it be a, is there a common factor? 2, 7, 4, no. Could it be a difference of squares? No, there's three terms. Could it be a perfect square? No, that's not a perfect square. It's not a simple trinomial, so it's a complex trinomial. I need to do the box method. So I need two numbers that multiply to 2x. That's only 2x and x. Two numbers that multiply to 4. Well, it'd be 2 and 2, 4 and 1, and 1 and 4. Now I can take out the common factor, so that doesn't work, that doesn't work. So it's 8 and 1 x times 1 and 8 and 1, can I make 7? Yes, as long as it's plus 8, min plus 8 minus 1. So this should be minus 1 to be plus. So that's 2x minus 1. And x plus 4. And as always, I expand it, right? So 2x times x is 2x squared, minus 1 times 4 is minus 4, and minus x plus 8x gives me 7x, so that's right. I forgot to expand over here, so let's try that. x times x is x squared, minus 5 times 4 is minus 20, and minus 5 plus 4 is minus 2, and then when I expand the 2, I get that answer, so that's good. So let's see the last example and then I'll show you one last little thing. 12x squared minus 36x plus 27. You may want to pause the video and give that a try. But if not, it's 12x squared minus 13x plus 27. First step is to get a common factor. Looks like I can take out... Can I take out a 4 now? I can take out a 3. So. And we got left. So that's 4x squared. That's 12. Minus 12x. And plus 9. Alright. So it looks like... Let's check again. See if I missed the common factor. Is a common factor inside? Uh, no. 4, 12, 9. Can't take common factor. Could it be a difference of squares? No. Could it be a perfect squared? Well, three terms, yes. That's 2x... And that's 3. So it could be, now I check for middle term is 2ab. 
2x times 3 is 6, 6 twice is 12, so yes, this is a perfect square. I don't have to do that box method anymore, because that is just 3, and then it's 2x and 3 squared, because that's a minus, then this is a minus 2. And now I'm done. Now, it may be that you didn't recognize that it was a perfect square or you didn't bother <laughs> learning what perfect squares is. Well, you may end up doing the box method and find out that it was 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3. Don't leave it as 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3, please. Expand it, sorry, write it as 2x minus 3 squared. And make sure that you always take the common factor out. You may end it up with like 6x minus 9 because you forgot to take the 3 out. Just take common factor even at the end so you can get full marks. And then it's just a matter of practice, practice. So how are you going to practice? Well, why don't you ask people to create questions for you? You're going to do this in class, but maybe you can do this at home. And creating factoring questions is actually super easy. Uh, you can ask your parents or your, your brothers or sisters, depending on how old they are. You can ask your friends at school, or you can ask your nemesis, somebody who's going to make really difficult questions for you. Uh, but basically, you start with the answer. And you say, okay, I want to give them a a simple trinomial. So you say, okay, I'm going to have x plus 3 and x minus 5. And you say that's, that's going to be the answer. So then just expand it. x times x is x squared. Then 3 times minus 5 is minus 2 x. And 3 times minus 5 is minus 15. So you may have to show people how to expand it, perhaps, and that would be good for you, because then you'll learn it very, very well. Or if you want to get something more complicated, like the one I did. So um, let's say you want to get something with, with a common factor. We'll put it 2 in front. And then maybe you can do a, a perfect square. So you say 2x minus 3 squared. You want that to be your answer. Then just expand it. You have a 2 outside. And now 2x, if I expand this, it's 2x squared, 4x squared. Now twice this, so that's minus 6, twice it's minus 12. x, and then the last one squared is plus 9. And then you multiply with the 2. So that's 8x squared, minus 24x, plus 18. And that's the question that you will give that you will give people to factor, and then if they do it right, they should end up with what you started what you started with.